Do we have any of those like New Year's Eve noisemakers? You know, like. <laughs> you know those? No, I don't think we do. No. Uh, you're gonna have to use something else. Use something else. Okay. Oh. Are you buying that? No. You know it's like a croaking frog? Happy New Year! Hi, it's Kata. It is New Year's Eve. But before we leave 2023, I want to share with you all of the wonderful dolls I got at Christmas. Most appropriately, this Happy New Year 2000 Millennium Barbie. I also have this beautiful Monster High Holidays Draculaura that I've been waiting to open. A handful of Dolls of the World, a Bratzilla's, which is new to me, as well as a few other dolls, and the biggest deal, a Build Lily couple. What? I know! So since we've got a lot to look at, let's dive into it now. Okay, first we have these two beauties. This one came in a box, just the basic Playline series, but what I really love about her is this gorgeous Barbie signature dress. And look at what a beautiful face she has. She's going to look gorgeous in my collection. Definitely give her some better shoes though, girl. And then we have this lovely lady. I have no idea who this is. She's got rooted eyelashes. Her head stamp says 1991, body stamp says 1999. I suspect these are not her original clothes. The idea was maybe fashion fever, but I don't think this is fashion fever. So if you have any clue who this lovely girl is, please let me know in the comments. And this doll is interesting. Grace Kelly from the movie, The Swan. I've never seen the movie, have you? Do you know anything about this character? Let me know. What's interesting is I have no idea what year this doll is from. Everything listed about this doll says 1956. Even the box said 1956. This doll clearly did not come out in 1956. Like she has articulated hands. Her knees even bend. That click and bend like Barbie used to do. I'd be curious to know what year this doll was manufactured. So if you know, please let me know in the comments. Check these two out. This is the 1997 Olympic ice skater couple. Look, they've got these great ice skates, excellent figure skating outfit, gold medals. This may be solid gold, but to us it's lighter than air because dreams never weigh you down. Oh, dreams are in your sleep. And what's really fun is this Barbie spins around in Ken's hands.
So here's a doll series that is entirely new to me, but I think I'm in love. It is the 2012 Bratzilla's Yasmina Clairvoya. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Look at this gorgeous girl. Too bad her hair has been cut, I suspect. This is also not her outfit that she came in. You know, I'm not a Bratz doll collector, but I am a Monster High collector. Clearly, the similarities are there, especially when they have their original outfits. And I can't help but love those interesting inset eyes and those dark lips. And just the whole sort of witchy, spooky theme. I, I might have to get some more of these now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Something rather coincidental I ended up with four China themed gorgeous dolls this particular lady is the 2011 dolls of the world China Barbie like passport I think she's the pink label look at how pretty and then I got two box dolls of the world China themed dolls we have the 1997 dolls of the world Chinese Barbie and then we have the 2001 Dolls of the World China Princess. These came from a completely separate haul from the other China doll that husband got me. And then one of my oldest friends got me this Go Pei. Isn't she gorgeous? Then we have the wonderful Monster High Holiday Draculaura. Look at how pretty. I actually got this over the summer and I was waiting till now to unbox her. Lastly of the box dolls, this is perfect timing, is the 1999-2000 Millennium Princess Barbie.
And lastly, this incredible find by my husband. I, 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 I just, I, it's, how? Okay, wait. First of all, let me show you this fun little box it came in. Look at this vintage JC Penny shoe box. I mean, even the box is mid-century. Look at that. And it says Barbie and Ken dolls. But guess what? It's not Barbie and Ken. It's Lily and Bill. Ooh. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? I mean, I didn't even know they made a male build, Lily. So as you may know, these dolls hugely influenced the creation of Barbie and Ken. I mean, they even look like the very first Barbie and the very first Ken. Okay, but here's the thing. This is not actually a build lily. This is a Hong Kong lily, which is a clone of the original German build lily. So um, it's still from the 50s. I don't know exactly when. A lot, apparently, from what I'm learning, a lot lighter material than what the German one was made from. So you can tell, I mean, they feel like they're hollow, you know. I mean, they still like move pretty well. But look, he's got flocked hair, like the very first Ken. She's got real hair. I mean, these were considered sort of lower budget, the clones. But considering I've never seen a build lily, I'm impressed by the quality. And look at all these great accessories. So Bill came with this coat and hat. It's got a little feather on it. And then look at this. Lily came with this little Scotty dog with a leash. Isn't that great? And this purse, which, okay, this is funny, has inside of it a pair of panties oh hey it's new year's eve no judgment here <laughs> okay but there's more she also has this wonderful knitted coat that i mean i don't know if this was handmade or if this was like kind of one of her originals but amazing also these um stands it looks like each one of them have their own stand one and then look at this exclusive fashions by mattel you can tell it's from mattel it's swell golly <laughs>
almost forgot to tell you about these. I got these wonderful Barbie Christmas ornaments. Aren't those great? And then I got a handful of those mini brands, the like eggs, and then also the, um, the like little bins from a different brand. I got a bunch of books for Barbie. LJ Smith's Vampire Diaries, which I read back in the day. And um, look at, can you see that? It even includes the text. Wow. And um, also Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Isn't that great? And then I got these micro toy box things. There's like a He-Man Masters of the Universe. There's like a My Little Pony in them. All kinds of stuff. There's a Hot Wheels in there. Yeah, a lot of great toys for Barbie. I mean, these go really well under the Christmas tree. And lastly, this wonderful, perfect one six scale decor for Barbie's diorama, a cat having a bath. <laughs> it looks so huge in this shot. So thanks so much for coming along with me. By the time you're watching this, it'll be 2024. And I'm so excited for the new year and to see what's all out there for Barbie and friends and for each other. So if you enjoy coming along with me in 2023, please feel free to subscribe and have fun with me in 2024. Thanks and see you next time. That's driving my dog nuts. Like I wanna get glitter all over the house. I could not spit that out for Barbie, for Monster High, for all kinds of dolls and stuff.